Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com and these are my top three value-based LibTech boards of the 2020 season. Obviously, if it's a value-based, it has to have a great price point for the amount of technology that you get. Uh, these are my kind of three in random order style boards that I think provide the best value for the price point. Uh, one great thing about the manufacturer, uh, LibTech, they make everything in the United States. They use zero ha hazardous waste and everything they can recycle, they do, whether that be taking old wood scraps and turning it into sawdust and uh, recycling all of the old plastic stuff. Um, these are the great boards though, at awesome price points. I'm gonna start it out with this one. This is called the Hot Knife. This is an all mountain freestyle board. It's a twin tip. You can ride it this way and this way, it's gonna feel the exact same. It has a centered stance, centered uh, side cut radius within that stance, and it features a very aggressive, the most aggressive profile shape out of the three boards called C3. It's a camber dominant arcing profile. As you see, there's an arc with a little bit of rock between the feet that's raised off the snow. This is the most powerful board on a three decks. And if you're a hard charging rider that doesn't want to spend a lot of money, you should definitely check out this one. That's the hot knife. The second one is this, uh, the cold group. This is, I believe, the second or third year within the line. This is an all mountain, all mountain free ride style directional board. The stands is slightly set back. For anyone who likes to keep their board on the ground or on the snow most of the time, you're gonna like this one a lot. It has a very minimal sl sloping style tail, a gradual bigger nose, and a C2 profile shape. A little less aggressive than what you find in the hot knife. There's still reverse camber in between the feet, but you'll notice that it has a slight teeter-totter to it with elongated camera sections on the nose and the tail contact, or within the nose and tail contact point area and underneath the feet for a good ollie pop and stability while it's on an edge. Uh, the Cold Brew really is a fun, stable cruiser. If you like holding an edge, cruising down the hill at fast speeds, but you don't want a board that really pushes back a lot, uh, the Cold Brew is gonna be that great value base board. And then lastly is a deck that's been within the, the LibTech lineup for well over a decade. It's called the Skate Banana. This is an all mountain freestyle board. It's a twin shape, nose and tail, the exact same uh, kind of shaping to it. Centered stance, centered side cut radius. Um, but this one is for that all mountain rider who likes kind of cruising everywhere, but they want a little bit more of a freestyle influence. This is the most loose and surfy style board of the three here. It features a BTX profile shape. There's lots of rocker between the feet, as you see. Camera underneath each foot to the contact points. Stability while on edge. But overall, this is going to be the softest board out of the three within the lineup. Uh, these are all great value-based boards. Whether you want are a hard-charging rider that needs the hot knife or a loose rider that wants a skate banana or just somewhere in between, you want the cold brew. They're each great decks that have high-performing technology by a company that makes their stuff in the U.S. that you can check out thehouse.com by selecting the links below in the description. Again, in random order, we got the Skate Banana, we have the Cold Brew, and wrapping up with this Hot Knife Awesome Boards, of course. Uh, let me know if you've ever ridden any of these decks by leaving a comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think the best value priced LibTech boards are within the lineup. There's actually quite a few, but these are my top three. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more videos there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.